Hey everyone, how's it going? Matt here. Welcome back to the channel. And today we'll be uh, putting a uh, full self-driving beta version 10.4 to the test. I uh, just uh, downloaded it this morning. So I figured we uh, give it a run through, through some of the busier parts here of South Carolina. So let's get started. All right, so at least uh, so I was able to test 10.4 out this mor morning on my way to work and back. Which, my way to work, there's nothing really too crazy going on. It's just a straight shot to to base and back. But uh, one thing I did notice with 10.4 is 10.4 uh, likes to favor the passing lane versus uh, just the the just the main the right lane basically. So. In 10.3.1, it would stay. It would do anything in its power to stay in the right lane. Which, okay, nothing wrong with that. But this car, with 10.4, it does everything in its power now to stay in the left lane, which is kind of annoying. I hate driving in the left lane, like unless it's to pass, because that's what I'm used to. So my entire drive to work and back was literally the car trying to signal over to get into the left lane. So I would have to like push up on the gear stock to cancel it. I'd say an average of maybe 50 plus times per trip having to cancel the uh, uh, cancel the lane change. So I thought that was a bit annoying. All right, a little bit clunky left turn there. Not the best, we'll report that. I think I didn't really see that bump there, so. And overall, this is a, this is a good test of full self-driving because there's a lot going on, uh, especially the further we get downtown. I have it plotted to take us to a uh, just a grocery store downtown, just uh, where I took it last time uh, on my first video. All right, so now it's getting into the center lane, so we'll see what happens. And also, if you are new to the channel and this is your first time... Uh, seen one of my videos and you haven't subscribed yet feel free to uh, hit that subscribe button to, uh, below to follow me for more uh, future full self-driving and other Tesla and tech content as well all right so now it's changing into the left lane again to the follow route which I would have just stayed in the left lane but that's just me Yeah, but overall, still enjoying full self-driving, though. It's, it has been a little weird. It's still hard to get used to, but overall, I, I love it. It's fun. Yeah, the closer we get downtown, the more we'll start to see, uh, like, lots of cars parked on the side of the street, which the car has actually been doing pretty well with that. It, uh, it knows exactly what to do. It will just slightly veer over a little bit just to uh, stay away from those parked cars, so I like that. See, here's the same spot, same exact spot as last time. It likes to slow down here. I have no idea why, so I report that, and then, yeah, I have to push on the accelerator just so it continues through the light, or else it'll just stop or slow. It's, it slows down way too much. It's ridiculous. I guess in other Tesla news while I'm uh, while I'm driving or while the car's driving me. As y'all saw, Tesla increased the prices of their cars again. So I think uh, the entire Model 3 and Model Y line lineup has increased by an additional $1,000. Uh, a lot of it to blame for the just the cost of supplies increasing, but I also think this is to do with the, uh, the upcoming tax credit, which the Build Back Better program has not passed yet, at least not that I'm tracking. It could have passed maybe today. I haven't really uh, read into it yet, but but Tesla vehicles, yeah, would qualify for I think uh, which would potentially be eight thousand dollars. It would be seventy five hundred for the uh, being an electric vehicle, and then an additional five hundred dollars since the battery is built in the U.S. If you do have one of those. Uh, batteries that are made in China it would not qualify for that but most of the Tesla fleet delivered here in the US uh, does have a US made battery so you would get $8,000 total 
So really, I think that's uh, what Tesla is doing, which as a, from a business standpoint, can you really blame them? No, absolutely not. Potentially, if they if uh, Fremont and Texas produce 1 million or more cars a year, that's $8,000 potentially they're getting per car by increasing the prices, $8,000. Oh, wow, what the hell was that? Also, I do not like that the submit button, uh, if I wanna submit autopilot clips to Tesla is way over here in the corner, because I always tend to hit my name by accident for driver profiles, so kinda wish they would put that maybe maybe like here or maybe put that here or something or I wish there was a way where I could like double tap somewhere here that it submits it for me for first world problems now we're kind of approaching uh, downtown University of South Carolina here just kind of the outskirts of it all right let's see what it does Yep, it's getting in the right lane here. All right. Yep, a little jerky, but it accomplished its task of a right-hand turn. Yes, this is that uh, go-home traffic time, so it's very busy. All right. Yep, that looks sweet. I like that. Kind of veered off into the right, into the appropriate lane. a perfect stop it stopped right at the line which i like i do notice that full self driving at times sometimes will stop a, a good solid 10 to 15 feet before the actual line in some circumstances which is kind of annoying but See, this is where I like honestly like I would get into the left lane I would be in the left lane already we're 0.1 away from our from our left hand turn and now I have to like fight this very expensive s-class Mercedes next to me to uh, get into the left hand lane or the car has to fight it we'll see what happens so yep, we're still paying attention making sure uh, what's going on lane here. Come on, car. What are you doing? Come on. Here it goes. There's a person right there. You have to see the car definitely saw that person. Kind of freaked out a little bit, which no problem with that because uh, you wouldn't want that dude to maybe fall or something and fall into the road. And left turn. Uh, so we got the sun here. We'll see how, how that affects full self driving. I have a feeling uh, it might disable it and make me take over. Holy cow. Yeah, see, like for me, oh, yeah, sweet. Never mind. I was about to say, like, for me, I know the route. I know eventually we're gonna have to make a right turn and like not for another 1.2 miles, but I know that it needs to make a right turn. So I would stay in the right lane, which, hey, the car did that. Gold star to you, full self-driving. I don't know, something else they haven't fixed yet. So, uh, so South Carolina has a lot of left turn flashing yellow arrows, which is basically, uh, it's just a yield, like yield to oncoming traffic, but the car will not go through a yellow flashing arrow. It will stop and it will wait for the arrow to turn green, which a lot of the lights, the yellow flashing arrows here in South Carolina, they will, I'll never see them turn green. So that's where my, me normally I have to just hit the accelerator and override it so that it will actually go through the light. But really in terms of improvements from 10.3.1 to 10.4, I haven't really seen any yet other than the the UI. I have noticed that uh, like these solid yellow and solid red lines are, they're actually solid now. Before I used to see like a lot of like jerkiness here on the uh, the UI, which it's a little weird off here to the right. There's just parked cars, but car, car's a bit confused. 
but I do notice that these red line, like this red line is solid now. Normally it would be, it would be flashing, just kind of, kind of almost like what this is doing off here to the left. Yep, so here's a, here's a situation where, oh, damn it. See, for me, I would not do this. I would not stay in the middle of the street. So, of course I couldn't see. I thought the light was green. So now here we are kind of in the middle of the street. I'll report it, but I don't know if Tesla's, Tesla's gonna really do anything about that, but I would stay until it, this car, this truck passes the line. Where's this car? What are you doing? Oh. I'm not seeing any turn signals. Like this car kind of signaled to want to come over, but I, I don't see any turn signals. Yep, now we're going in the faster lane. We're going in the faster lane, but now we're ooh, very jerky. I'm actually surprised that the autopilot is not degraded right now, especially with, told you, with the sun hitting that uh, just right on on the horizon there, I'm normally I would expect it to uh, be degraded enough to where full self-driving wouldn't even work. see the uh it didn't see that this kind of turned into a like a like a veer around here to stay in the left lane that's why it's important pay attention to the road while using full self-driving i was very i was wondering like why is the car stopping oh it's a red light See, with the sun visor down, I can barely, I can't even see the light. It's kind of cool that, I, like, the car sees it, even though uh, I don't. All right, the sun's at just the right angle where I can put this back up. Yeah, but we're supposed to make our right turn in half a mile, and it's so busy here, like I so said, that's why I would just, I would just stay in the right lane. But we're kind of letting uh, Elon take the wheel today. We're just kind of see what it does. To the safest extent possible let me caveat with that i'm not gonna let tesla drive me in oncoming traffic but i will see what it does when it wants to get in the right lane and you might have a driver on the in the right lane that will not let me we'll see what it does to go a little bit to the right here. Perfect. Noise. Did, did what I would have done. Speaking of gross Publix, that's where we're going. So maybe the car will be able to uh, get around this semi-truck. Semis are pretty slow off the line, at least until the Tesla semi uh, starts uh, rolling out. right turn up here yeah, which, if the car's a little confused it, it's not quite tracking that the turn is up here there we go
yeah overall overall not bad yep we made it to the grocery store in one piece but yep there's uh our test of version 10.4 uh if you enjoyed the video please uh consider hitting a thumbs up good lord it's bright and if you uh have not subscribed yet to my channel please consider hitting the subscribe button down below definitely helps me out a lot but yeah hope you uh, enjoy the rest of your day <laughs> see ya